Dano. And I'm Dee Kelly, and welcome to Attitudes. Right. You uh, probably wonder why we have these on, don't you? Yeah. These are the birds Attractive. of love. Yes, <laughs> right. Don't the doves. You know the what doves. you look like in this? I can't even see. Let me look in yours. You look like a librarian gone awry. Do I? <laughs> Doesn't she? Those round things are like a librarian, and this is like she's gone berserk. Had a man for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Something. Well, sunglasses are what we're going to talk to you about a little bit because they have become an absolute fashion accessory. Even designers who have never made them in the past are suddenly making them. I guess you could call this the new accessory. You can't afford the blouse, you go by the glasses. And it just right. so happens that yeah. we've got some here to show that you. We want to show you. Now, the ones that we have on are the same uh, designer, uh, what is it, Optics of London? Yes. That make Elton John glasses, in that case you couldn't get. <laughs> That's right. Okay. These are fun. Now, these are more normal, sort of. All right. Oh, this is, Christian Lacroix is now making glasses, which he had, oh, these are actually kind of nice. Are they, they nice beautiful. on? Right. Very chic, huh? Very Riviera. That's yeah. Christian Lacroix. Yeah. This is Esprit, something that I would love, right? Let's see. How do they look? Oh, see, that's cute. These are fun. Yeah. The color's nice. These are summer. Yeah. Esprit. Here's uh, the male version of the librarian again. I mean, I always think that this looks you look sort of like an axe murderer. I don't know why. Doesn't she look it's good It's from enough? some old film I once saw where he oh, hit someone in the bed. Never mind. This is okay. Alan Meekly, who is a very famous designer of sunglasses. I'm sure these are a little more expensive, but uh, we can't see what they look like. How do these look? Let me are see. they fun? Yeah, I like those. I cannot believe this woman. She looks good in every no, no. single sunglass. This is Gianfranco Ferre. Oh. I mean, how bad could they be? They They're must gorgeous. be nice. Are they fabulous? Yes. Very they Italian and streamlined, you know? This probably is, very expensive. This, as Don't you could probably tell if you see the little sparkles, is Christian Dior. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I like, well, no, no. Terrible? Okay. No, I, well, I mean, they're wonderful. About glitzy but now. just like not on me. shape. Okay. Donna Karen. Oh. No. I love Donna Karen. This is glamour. I wear, I wear another version of this. Okay. In myself, Donna Karen glasses. They are comfortable and they block everything. And lastly but not leastly, Paloma Picasso. Let me see. Oh, nice. nice. Great. And Christian Lacroix, again. Sunglasses <laughs> now, everybody. Yellow, are very aren't they? in. Yeah. Okay. And, and we have our audience who, is wear, who are wearing sunglasses yeah. from Anne Klein. Take a shot of that, Miguel. Can you get everybody? Yeah. All of these all gals. Anne Klein and Anne Klein, too, sent these glasses for our audience. Are, is it helping, guys? You loving them? They're yours. Isn't that nice? Good to come and get something free, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> we're going to take okay. these. Okay. We're, we're going to dump this. Over there. We're dumping this because we, have, got, a, we have a good show. A great yeah. show, and we want to get right to it. Yeah. We have one of the greatest singers in show business with us today. Yeah. I'm absolutely thrilled. I know, I know we, we were in the tr in the makeup room with her all morning. Yeah. She is so talented, and she's actually going to sing for us today. So we're very excited. Patty Austin is with us. Yeah. Are we lucky? We're also. All you ladies are going to get a little uh, taste of what men are wearing, sports-wise, uh, casual and bathing suits. I love like their segments, yeah. yeah. And then we're going to have yeah. a little uh, volleyball lesson with Miami's championship Lady Cougars. Or yeah. Cougars or Lady Jaguars? Lady Jaguars. Yeah, we had a yeah. cougar cub on our show yeah. yesterday, but it's the Lady Jaguars. We're into here. animals. We're, right yeah, now. it's a wildlife feeling. Uh huh. Big yeah. cats. Yeah. Very big cats. So you want to bring on Patty? Yeah, we shall. Shall we? Yes. All right. Okay, let's tell you a little bit about her. Um, Patty Austin has been singing for, oh, since Ever. she was four years old. Uh, it's an interesting story how she got started, and she's going to tell us about that. Uh, she's worked with some of the greats. She performed at the Oscars in 1980 and is doing it again this year for her hit song. She's one of the greatest. Today she'll be singing a song from the new movie Shirley Valentine, and the song's title is The Girl Who Used to Be Me. Which you all know. But she's probably best known for her duets with James Ingram, and she is probably one of the biggest jingle singers in the country. Yeah. You've heard her on every big Everything. commercial. Yeah. Bef without ado, further ado, right? Yeah, please welcome that. the amazing Patty Austin. Yes. When you got you know? here. <laughs> oh my God. We all came with no makeup and our hair. Look at us now. Really? Yeah, we're fabulous. 
tell everybody what? about what you did when you were four years old. Oh, the most obnoxious, precocious things in the world. Your debut. It's My debut. I got you. I zapped you. That's okay. That's right. I, I zapped you so good. I got Patty Austin's <laughs> lips. Great. Um, <laughs> I, uh, my, I, I must preface this story by saying that my father was a jazz musician uh -huh. for about 18 years. He played with Fletcher Henderson and Lucky Millinder and Father Hines and wonderful people like that. And um, one of the people that he backed up uh, as a trombonist was a woman named Dinah Washington, who, if you are old like me, you will remember. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, 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 great and jazz so, singer. Yeah, she was absolutely wonderful. She was always billed as the queen of the blues. So we went to uh, the Apollo Theater in Harlem to hear her perform, right. went backstage after the show, and my father uh, brought me to the dressing room, to Dinah's dressing room, and being rather facetious, she leaned over and said, hi, I'm Dinah Washington, and I'm a singer. And I said, well, I'm Patty Austin, and I'm a singer, too. Four years old. Four years old. <laughs> and she said, well, if you're a singer, then you're going to go out on stage with me, and you're going to sing. And I said, OK. So she, the piano player was walking by the dressing room. She said, wait a minute, come in here. This young lady is going to sing on stage tonight. He leaned over, and he says, what do you want to sing? I said, I'll sing Teach Me Tonight. And he chuckled. He said, what key? I said, B-flat. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I was just a little precocious. Oh, so we went and we rehearsed the song, and um, I went on stage to perform the tune. What had happened was it was a tune that Dinah did, so they had an arrangement for it for the band. Right. But the piano player neglected to tell the orchestra that I was going to sing it in a different key. So they began to play it in the key that was on the paper, what oh they called my. the ink. Yeah. They were playing the ink when I walked on the stage, and I stopped them and I said, you're in the wrong key. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. Do you have perfect pitch? No, and it's a rumor. There's a rumor out there. Somebody came to me one day and said, you have perfect pitch, and I don't. And it's really, um, I'm not saying it because I don't have it, it's really kind of a curse more than a blessing yes, because you hear exactly what a note should be and you can't adjust your pitch accordingly or if you have perfect something. pitch. That or enjoy something. Or enjoy something because, no. because most things are not in tune really yeah. that much. Yeah. So if you have perfect pitch, you suffer a lot. Now there's somebody sitting in the audience that also saw you that night. Is that true? Or is uh, that a well, makeup? no, it's not a makeup. Sammy Davis Jr. was not in the audience. He was rehearsing oh. downstairs right. at the Apollo. They had a rehearsal hall under the stage. <laughs> right. And Someone ran and got him and said, "There's this." You twerp. gotta see this kid. You gotta see this kid. She told the band to shut up. They were in the wrong key. You must. Your mother must have been afraid of you. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> and still is. And st your mother's here. We met her. Edna, where's her mom? Where's your mom? Where's your Edna, mom? Edna, where are you? Are you here, Edna? We'll find her. She's in makeup. She's in she's the back. Oh, she's back there. Oh, she's she back there. Shot Hi, Edna. Edna. <laughs> now, go ahead. She goes everywhere there because she doesn't trust the anyone. Interesting, <laughs> the interesting thing about uh, your upbringing and your parents yeah. is, is that. Even though you were doing a, a great big television show in New York as right. a kid in elementary school, right. you had a totally normal life at home. They never I, treated I you let like a, a star. No, I let a dual existence. I had to wash dishes and make beds and be a person and go to public school. And, and your friends didn't know you were My even friends performing? never put it together because you've got to remember this is in the early 50s, so not yeah. that many people had TVs, first of all. And the few people that did, everybody would kind of converge on their house and maybe kids from 10 different houses in the neighborhood would go and sit and watch television. Oh. And they could not conceive that someone they saw on TV on Sunday morning could sit next to them in class, so they never, never ever put it together. Let's bring it up to the present. I mean, you've yeah. done so many things, it would take hours to even talk about it. We don't have hours? We hear you. No, we're going to do that Six later hours. when you come yeah. back. When we come time. back. And we talk all night. Oh, okay. You're so okay. much fun. We're gonna, you're going to get to know more about Patty, and you get the treat of hearing her sing. Oh. Please come back. Stay with us.